What's up, everybody? The guy right here. I'm uh, doing another video real quick. Just something I wanted to get uploaded and kind of out of the way off my head. Because I know a few people that still use this character that kind of don't use him to the best of his potential. I'm not going to say that this is going to be a full flat out tutorial or anything like that because this is not. It's, it's me just breaking down one character that I use um, that's on my team. And I just want to give people a little insight to things that I do with them. Things that I find to be pretty, you know, solid with the guy. And hopefully some of the things that I show you will probably have your own Scary part of this team is that you know, most of you do a B and B like this or whatever to finish the combo with all the time is to push it in the right. Me, stay on the ground. I'd rather do something like this. Or oh, I can save the bar. You know what I mean? Go into something like that. You know what I mean? The reason why I stay on the ground with him is so different and good is because it gives them access to a lot of different options they didn't have before. Gimlet does 250 damage, right? But if I do a regular little GMB combo, you know, couple of trouble, Gimlet is 149. I pretty much scale my damage for 100k. And don't let me go into something similar like this. It's like, okay, that's 99 plus I get the point. It's not really worth it. You know what I mean? He's not really a high damage character, per se, but there's ways to make him get massive amounts of damage and do crazy things and whatever have you. You do get it earlier on before it's killing the fucking thing. Boom, they give me a big 202. Another thing he has that's good, this arrow here, that arrow, is a soft knock guy. That hits the air and soft knock that. Rusker came right back down to me. You know, I keep the combo going. When you do this combo, you see the arrow by their foot, get them. It'll give the arrow time to hit and keep the final ball and knock down. And boom, there you go. Set up. One of the other many reasons I like to play with this team, especially with Wesker, let's say I do, you know, that basic beat. See that? Even if Wesker was to take that, I'll still be at a good range to use my medium, my standing medium. So, you know, I'm, I'm here. We're both too low. We can't throw a normal. Throw a normal is going to hit. I have little setups that I can do with this and using Strider. Put you in a bad 50 50. The reason why that's so scummy. Is because the arrow is going to hit behind us and it's going to force him to block it, which means he has to move forward outside of doing that. Hawkeye is going to be at a pretty nice spot regardless. Did you see what happened? He teched forward and the arrow still hit him and kept him in place. Same with Strider. If you tech backwards off of that, then you're going to get stuck in the corner. You have to block both of them and you're in the air longer. Alright, now I showed you already what happens if you neutral tank it. There's also something else you can do to kind of like fuck people's heads or whatever. You can delay your arrow. And as you can see, it hits them really funny. It makes Wesker go back and forth like that. It gives you nice time to set up, nice time to throw. So that's just a little something that you could dabble with that I like.